in a post-drought apocalypse United States, people kill for water. Water is much more expensive than oil. Oil when people run out of water. Agricultural lands turn into desert. There is only sand in the well. To drink a little water, people can kill each other, and there are a lot of robbers that Heir to Rome home lives with Father Ernest and Sister Mary in their small townhouse and field while everyone else has left the area Ernest and his family remain as Ernest believes that the land will grow once more if only there is irrigation Ernest gets water for his family by delivering supplies to the watermen who extract water from deep wells through a government deal He delivers those things by a mule when his mule breaks its legs, it can't work anymore so he has to Till it arriving home, Mary has prepared lunch for the whole family but they just have some food grains for lunch. After everyone has finished their meal, Mary starts to wash dishes. But she can't use water to wash these dishes she uses sand to make it clean. Ernest goes to Sam Weber's auction house and buys a robotic carrier machine called Sim to replace his last mule after that. He brings Sim to a hospital to visit his wife. His wife has been involved in an accident earlier and is now permanently hospitalized in a facility where she can walk while wired to a special frame. But the high cost of healthcare in hospital makes Ernest have to earn a lot of money. Ernest goes to the water station every day. He has to buy water at a high price in order to survive thanks to Sim. The mechanical mule he can keep on delivering supplies to the watermen and make some money to support his own family however, Ernest still has to face some big problems Mary falls in love with Flem who really hates her family because his family's land has been given to Ernest by the government. Therefore Flem fights against Ernest every day as a result he disapproves of the relationship between Mary and Flem in order to prevent his daughter from meeting Flem he starts to nail up the windows. Consequently, Mary can't go out to see her lover one morning, Ernest finds the sim is missing, and he suspects that Flam steals sim, and he goes looking for it, because sim only works in the construction site, so he climbs up a high ground of the construction site however a waterman knocks him down, he immediately passes out he tries to explain that he didn't steal anything, but no one believes in him, so Ernest has to take out his gun to protect himself, he also steals a knife from the waterman then starts to look for Flem. He finds Flem transporting the stolen supplies with the sim Flem plans to sell them at the border. Ernest takes Flem captive, ties him to the machine, and aims to take the supplies back to the watermen. When they stop due to dehydration, Flem convinces Ernest to rehydrate with the liquor they are transporting. Ernest is so thirsty that he quickly agrees. He also carelessly unties the rope on Flem. They begin to pour out their heart to each other. Keeping on drinking wine Ernest gradually gets drunk meanwhile Flem secretly pours his wine so he doesn't get drunk at all when Ernest is about to stand up he feels dizzy wanting to escape. Flem throws a stone at Ernest's head and frames the machine for Ernest's death. After his children hold a funeral for him Flem comes to his house and gets married with Mary after that he moves to Ernest's house and inherits his business. One day, he meets the waterman, and he says that he finds the waterman's knife on Ernest's back so if the waterman doesn't repair the water pipeline through his land he will blame the waterman for killing Ernest. Therefore, the waterman has to agree with him after helping the family obtain illegal irrigation from the waterman. He also saves their farm. At the moment Flem thinks that his life is gonna perfect he finds out Ernest had overwhelming debts to repay to a bank which is now going to repossess the farm. Flem is furious and doesn't allow the bank to take his land that afternoon. He takes Sim on his car Flem tricks his friend Robbie into selling his baby in his village. Then shoots Robbie to death. Sim also suffers the gunshot wounds and starts an automatic return process. Meanwhile, Flem takes the money and run ahead of time. He uses that money to repay the debt. But he claims that he sells Sim to get that sum of money however, the machine returns limping and mangled to its manufacturer, who resides in a city across the border. Calvin reaches Jerome at the home residence via CUB radio, informing him about the machine. He has repaired it and shows Jerome how the machine's laser sensor behaves like a rudimentary video recorder. Jerome plays the recording and finds the truth about Ernest's death. 
and he knows that Flem didn't sell Sim to get the money Jerome is depressed, he can't believe that his brother-in-law is such a cruel person. So he wants to take revenge on Flem but at first he takes no action. He brings Sim to his home he also doesn't tell the truth to his mom and Mary he wants to solve this problem by himself. Jerome pretends to be a Flem's friend and send him a letter that friend asks Flem to meet him at the desert, and Jerome succeeds in luring Flem out in the desert ultimately causing Flem to fall into a pit trap and break his legs. As Flem cries for help, Jerome, who has been secretly following him, comes at the pit's mouth. Flem realizes that Jerome knows about what happened to Ernest. He tries to elicit Jerome's mercy, but Jerome coldly shoots him in the head. Jerome ultimately decides to withhold these events and the circumstances of Ernest's death from Mary, who is pregnant with Flem's child. Brother and sister remain in the house planning to bring their mother there from the hospital now that they can pay for her brace wires, and wishing the baby will be a girl, like, share and subscribe my